So here at corporate, we have probably a little over 500 employees that sit in the Tulsa office, which is based in downtown. And in the field, we have about 8,000 plus employees in the field. A lot of people that are working out on our rigs, they drive sometimes eight, 10 hours just to get to the rig site. And then obviously they're driving back home. They're working two weeks on, two weeks off. So it's really, really important that obviously they have the amount of sleep that's necessary to drive safe. According to our survey, 95% of HMP employees said they sometimes drive distracted and 40% admitted to driving with some form of fatigue. The man is recovering after he fell asleep at the wheel. Police say the man was driving just before midnight in the 2600 block. Police say a man driving home from work was an innocent victim of a woman accused of texting while she was behind the wheel. Believe it or not, many people still do not wear their seatbelts when they're driving on the roads here in Texas. One second eyes off the road at 65 miles an hour is the equivalent of driving the length of a basketball court. The idea that there might be people not looking at the road at all for 4.1 seconds, scare you. Our driving is our biggest hazard we face every day. Uh, guys going back and forth to work, back and forth to the office. Texting and driving, talking on the phone, there's so many distractions with other drivers. We want to be intentional with how we take care of each other. When we decided to adopt actively caring, it was more of like, this needs to be a way of life. HMP is committed to making the road a safer place for all drivers. Driving while fatigued, texting while driving, and not wearing seatbelts are dangerous problems that so many of us face every day. This campaign is to empower our guys to take a step back, and to choose the safe option rather than maybe the fast option. You gotta think about the people back home. You got your family, your parents, your, you got a wife and kids. I could drive and, and force myself, but now I know the signs, maybe take a break. You, you have to come to the point where it's like, you know, is it, is it worth it? Drive safe, drive safe. I sang it all the way home last night in my mind. If we actively care about others, ourselves, and the ones we love, we'll treat driving with the utmost respect. Thank you for actively caring and thank you for driving safe.